if I was an NFL GM or owner or decision maker, I do not believe I would hire a defensive head coach. It's not to say that defensive-minded head coaches don't win. Bill Belichick won six Super Bowls. Clearly, a defensive coach is not the worst idea. You can win. You can do well. But I will say, I look at Miami with Mike McDaniel and Tua, or I look at Doug Peterson in Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence, Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City, Nick Sirianni coaching Jalen Hurts in Philly. It's hard not to believe right now that the two most important positions in football are head coach and quarterback. I want my head coach and my quarterback working together. That really does matter. I don't even think it's a radical thought to say I I would rather have security where I have a coach working with my quarterback who's not at risk of leaving. You know, for example, look at the Jets with Robert Sala. They've got a defensive minded head coach. He's great, by the way. You're like, look at the way Robert Sala has turned around the Jets' defense. It's extraordinary. It's really good. I, I credit Robert Sala. He's an awesome coach. I root for him. I like him. I also like that when he mismanaged the clock last week, he owned it after the fact. He said, look, I, I made mistakes. I thought that was pretty cool. That gains respect in the locker room. I really like Robert Sala. Michael LaFleur... Matt LaFleur, the Packers head coach's brother, Mike. Mike LaFleur is the offensive coordinator and play caller for the New York Jets. Let's say next year, the Jets quarterback, Mike White, is amazing. Mike LaFleur, the coordinator, play caller, suddenly is going to be a head coaching candidate. And whether it's next year or two years from now, if Mike White does well long enough, you're going to see Mike LaFleur's name thrown out there as a head coaching candidate. And if he leaves, you lose him and you lose the guy who helped your young quarterback, Mike White. You got this awesome quarterback. Great. Suddenly now you got a problem. You need a new offensive coordinator. If you hire an offensive minded head coach, you're never at risk of losing the guy who helped your quarterback. That is why I wouldn't hire a defensive coordinator. It's very simple. Defensive head coaches mean that that's the guy with the most job security, the the head coach you're at risk of losing your offensive coordinator. And that that would scare me. Now, I have a perspective that's a bit skewed. I I played college football. I loved my head coach. I went there for my head coach. He was awesome. Uh, I was in in his office like every day. I really had a great relationship with my head coach when I played college football. However, he was the defensive head coach. He He ran the defensive side of the football. He was not the offensive coordinator. He gave all the power over the offense to the offensive coordinator. And when I realized that, I was like, oh, crap. When I was looking at coming here, I was talking to the head coach. I'm friends with the head coach. I love the head coach. But he's not the guy who has all the power over me. And I I went to the wrong school. I really regretted it because as I got to know the offensive coordinator, I hated the guy. (laughs) Like, I I tried to hide it, um, but the dude was annoying. I, I had so many disagreements with him. I didn't like his approach. Um, I, I just didn't like him and I didn't trust him. We didn't connect. Unfortunately though, the offensive coordinator who I didn't connect with, didn't like and didn't trust. He was the guy who had the power over me. So I, I acknowledge I am skewed when I say, you know, my experience definitely impacts me. And when I say I wouldn't hire a head coach, there's some of the background there, but the root of why I would say, I would say I wouldn't hire a defensive head coach is that Again, you run the risk of losing your offensive coordinator. That scares me. And you can succeed. Watch, you know, the the Buffalo Bills have a defensive head coach. They lost their offensive coordinator, Brian Dable, but they kept Ken Dorsey. The quarterback coach became the offensive coordinator. It kept some continuity. You can survive losing your offensive coordinator, but why would you want to do that when you don't have to? Mike McDaniel runs the offense in Miami. He's not going to leave for a head coaching job because he's already a head coach. He's been promoted as far as he can. If you had a defensive head coach in Miami right now, and Mike McDaniel was the offensive coordinator coaching Tua, I would be terrified. I'd be like, man, Mike McDaniel's about to leave and go be head coach somewhere, and then the guy who's helped Tua is going to leave. So solve the problem. I would hire an offensive head coach almost exclusively if I was a NFL decision maker. I want the guy who works closely with my quarterback also to be my head coach. 
the two most important positions in the NFL, coaching quarter, uh, coaching quarterback. And if I ran a, a team, I would not hire a defensive head coach. That is why. 